everybody, it is Melanie, and I'm your Tuesday vlogger on Back to Basics WLS. How are you doing? Um, today's topic, once the car goes by, uh, today's topic is go-to protein foods, right? Go-to protein foods. And I, I, you know, I wrote down a list. I'm not sure, um, I think they're probably pretty common, actually. String cheese, okay, the the string cheese, mozzarella is my favorite, although I have, I just saw they make the Dubliner cheddar, uh, Dubliner cheddar, if you have not tried it, is, oh, it's such a, it's a beautiful cheese, very strong, um, kind of cheddar-y, well, duh, Dubliner cheddar, right, <laughs> but, um, good stuff, and they make that now in individual little single serve things, I like those because I can grab them and take them with me, um, when I go to work out in the morning, whether I go downstairs or whether I head out to the gym, um, I take a string cheese and make myself eat it even if I'm not hungry. I have this thing where, um, you know, for me, I wake up in the morning and I'm not hungry. I'm thirsty, um, but I've learned that if I don't have some kind of protein in, in, in me, I might get lightheaded or I might not make it through what I'm working out. So I typically in the morning either have um, an Atkins shake before working out, protein shake, Atkins shake, you can buy them in the store, um, and a string cheese or just the shake or just the string cheese okay so as far as cheese is concerned any cheese uh, I, I'm reading a book now um, sugar shock and uh, part of it is getting rid of dairy and it's kind of scary to me because I have a heavy reliance on cheese although my girl Pam Walker tells me that I could still eat goat cheese and goat cheese I'll tell you I put goat cheese another good protein source you know I put it on a hamburger I put it on steak I put it on I use it as food lube on uh, any meat product. Basically, yeah, I do. Good stuff. Um, so any cheese, any egg. I'm going to be like Bubba Gump in, in, in Forrest Gump because I boiled egg, deviled egg, egg salad, fried egg, scrambled egg, um, frittata. Uh, and for you that haven't made a frittata, you just put stuff kind of like a crustless quiche and you cook it on the stove for maybe like 10 minutes until it sets and then you finish it off in the oven. Put anything you want in there. Veggies, cheese, meat. Um, all right, let's see. One of the things, too, I had given up I had given up yogurt um, a while back just because of the sugar content, which I know is ironic given you that uh, I've deviated for chocolate chip cookies. Isn't it interesting how your mind works? Like, you won't deviate for certain things, and those are just easy and stuck in your head, but then other things are not. In other words, I've eaten cookies for months, though I've been good. This is almost, uh, this is my third week now being... Um, primarily off sugar, which is huge for me, but, um, but, but anyway, uh, oh, where was it? What was I talking about? I had been off yogurt for a long time because of the high sugar content, and then Lap Band Suzanne, you know, I love you, um, her video, and just to take the plain Tarani, because, or the plain Chobani, or, um, the other Greek yogurts, and I've seen people use them as plain, and, for like sour cream or dips or whatever and I was just never interested and then Lap Band Suzanne did that video where she put a packet uh, I don't know if you put a packet of Splenda or I, I put it in there but I think you, what you did is you put a pack of Splenda and some Tarani or Da Vinci syrup in there which is sugar free and so I'm not sure of the protein content but I know the carb content is seven or eight in a Tarani yogurt so that's been one of my favorite things and actually I had um, plain Greek yogurt with um, vanilla, Tarani, and a Splenda inside of half a cantaloupe this morning. Um, actually, Ed made it for me with a couple raspberries on top. It was the bomb diggy. Uh, let's see, let's see. Um, when I'm talking about cheese, too, I do a lot of fresh mozzarella. And sometimes uh, what I'll do is just take a little slice of fresh mozzarella put a, a slice of tomato on top and if I don't have a piece of basil I'll just put a little spoonful of pesto happy girl I mean the obvious things are chicken uh, chicken pepperoni turkey roast beef another easy thing that I do is I buy the sliced corned beef you know from the deli counter um, whatever and I'll take a couple slices of corned beef and I'll put a slice of Swiss on it and I'll throw it in the microwave for 30 seconds and then I put the sugar-free Thousand Island dressing on there and it's a kick-ass little Reuben without the bread. Um, now, garbanzo beans, chickpeas, those seem to be my favorite, those and black beans. And I will open a can if I do not do them in water. 
but I'll open a can of garbanzo beans, chickpeas, and just put a little bit of balsamic vinegar on them and eat them. You know, I those are the type of things that the longer they stay in the refrigerator, the better they taste, and that's good stuff. Um, the other thing I do is a can, of, a, a can of black beans. Well, actually what it is is two cans of black beans, a can of corn, um, so, some balsamic vinegar, some cilantro, and um, some onion. And that's another thing. You let that stay in the fridge. You could eat that all week. In, uh, and I know corn is one of the higher carby vegetables, but that's protein goodness right there. Um, another easy thing is the, I buy the frozen bags of shrimp that are already cleaned and uh, deveined. And let's say you, you, you want shrimp cocktail, which is the easiest, in my opinion, high-protein food for me. Um, you can just take a handful out. I put them in a colander on cold water, not hot, cold water on them for literally a minute, and they're thawed. And But all cocktail sauces are not created equal. Um, I have to find the one that has the lowest sugar in it, and they're out there. Um, some have a really high carb content, so check that when you're doing it. Um, portobello pizza, another thing with good protein, easy, especially on the grill. And what I've learned to do lately is take the portobello and instead of putting in tomato sauce, I put in the, um, like a bruschetta or a pico, pico de gallo, but like more of a chunky type of, um, vegetable mix, tomatoes, cucumbers, onions, basil or cilantro, whatever in there with the cheese and put it on the grill. And that is a beautiful thing. And... Oh, I think I have that. Another tip I learned from uh, actually a new toy for Katie about a year ago is that if you want breaded chicken to make a, a healthier version of chicken parm, um, whether you're going to cook it in the oven or whether you're going to fry it, uh, what we do is take the boneless chicken and dip it in some egg and then dip it in just Parmesan cheese. And you can flavor that any way you want, just Parmesan cheese. And whether you fry it or put it in the oven, it creates a crispy crust that makes you feel like you're eating something yummy without the carbs. Um, another trick I learned, which is one of my favorite, because um, a lot of times, guys, I need things that crunch. I need things that crunch. So these might not all be protein foods, but they're low carby foods. And it's hard to find things that crunch. Um, so Rocky Berrigan did a video, again, about a year ago, and it's something I do all the time. And I'm going to try If I can put it in at the end of this video, you'll see it. If not, um, no, I'm going to try to do it. Anyway, it's just a slice of, I use Kraft Deli Deluxe Cheese. And you cut it in 16, you put it on 16, so the pieces are little tiny, 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 and one slice of cheese. And I use the Jelly Deluxe because it's thicker. The other, you know, slices of cheese don't turn out right in the, in the microwave. But anyway, uh, cut it in 16, put it on parchment paper, put it in the microwave for 60 seconds, and they taste exactly like Cheez-Its. Crazy. Love it. Um, the other thing I do, Miss Sweet Tooth here, is... Uh, just a scoop of ricotta cheese with a little bit of Splenda and a shitload of cinnamon. And stir it up, stir it up, stir it up. It's really good, okay? If you've never tried it, it's really good. And when I want ice cream, uh, and I'm good, I just, again, take a frozen scoop of Cool Whip. And you tell yourself that that's vanilla ice cream, and trust me, it's good stuff. Uh, and now they make cinnamon and um, chocolate. Yeah, I mean, it's it's better than the alternative. It's processed crap. We know that. As we Ed would call it, it's a Franken food. Um, but uh, it's better than the, the alternative. So there you go. Um, thanks, and I'm looking forward. Listen, I'm looking forward to hearing things. Because if you hear, I, that's how we learn about all this stuff from what other people are doing. Because otherwise you get stuck in this rut. You're eating the same things. You feel bored. Blah, blah, blah. So I can't wait to see what other people are doing. Um, as their go-to food. So thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.